Swing! <laughs> Kill it! No, oh, he's attacking Elijah, you dick! Kill him! He's really going for Elijah. Elijah, defend yourself. Use your apple. Oh no! He killed Elijah! He killed the wizard! I had armed the- If you're paying attention, the wizard's only weapon was an apple. Did not prove to be effective. We are- We are going down hardcore. <laughs>
It looks like she has a beard. I'm just, uh, I, no judgment, no judgment, but that, that looks like a bearded woman. And what do we got going on over here? Oh, oh, this is it. Hulk the Barbarian. Um, yes, we, we have become Hulk the Barbarian. We have Barbarian Rage, Barbarian Belief Systems. We do not know how to read, and we do not want to know how to read. Oh, and we are going to enter our dungeon. Well, Hulk was Hulk was really the impulse buy of the whole Hall of Heroes. If you hadn't picked a knight, a, a character by the time you got to Hulk, he was sort of the default. He's the chocolate bar in the aisle of the uh, the grocery store. So we can go ahead and pick up an apple, and Hulk, give it to Hulk. Hulk will take that apple, right? Um, oh, we can put it in his hand. How do I get to his items? There's a way to do all this. Um, hold on. I got I got to figure this out before we go on. Whoa, there we go. Hulk, he's going to take that apple and he's going to put it in his backpack. So already you can see first time again. This looks like very simple stuff these days, but this is pretty advanced. You be able to click on things here and put them in your backpack. So it was a real time uh, RPG. It did not have a typical XP system. So what I mean there is like when you kill things in a normal RPG, what is this? Uh, anything? Can we pick it up now? Bread. Apples and bread. What? Why Why is this stuff in the dungeon? That's kind of weird. Just apples and bread lying around. We're going to find like a nice juicy steak. Um, but in most RPGs, when you kill things, you earn experience points. And we have enough experience points, you level up. And all your skills get better. And you can like, uh, you know, attribute those experience points to, you know, if you want to get better at sneaking. Then when you level up, you just upgrade your sneaking capacity and so on. I ne was never a huge fan of that system because it's kind of stupid when you think about it. I mean, why does killing random enemies suddenly make you good enough that you're better at sneaking or whatever? But what this game has is basically a skill-based system where if you want to make a skill better, you have to just start using that skill. So if you want to get better at picking locks, you got to pick locks. If you want to get better at fighting, you got to fight, and so on. And actually, I love the idea of that system because that's how skills work in real life. You can't just go kill a bunch of monsters and then be really good at academics. It doesn't work that way. So I really like that, that, game, that this game has uh, that sort of feature. Oh, we got stairs there. I'm not going to go down there just yet. I'm going to go ahead and check all these scrolls out. I may not know how to read the Avatar of Re Altar of Rebirth, but uh, I like the paper. I can burn it. It heats me up in the night and hulk like warm. I'm not even going to read these things. Oh, what does it say? New lives for old bones. What does this say? It says invoke uh, fur for magical torch. Okay. Well, we cheated there because Hulk is not supposed to be literate, but uh, whatever. And what do we got going on down here? So I like the idea that your experience, you know, you don't just get generic experience points for killing monsters. You actually have to work on the skills you want to improve. A, I think that is awesome. There's corn too, corn, apples, and bread. The other thing that's really cool about this game is that it has a spell system that kind of reminds me of Loom. If you remember Loom that we played way back in the day, only even better than Loom. So the thing I liked about Loom was that you could play notes on your uh, little staff and those notes would uh, spawn spells. So it's sort of like there was a language to spells. Well, this game takes it a step further and you have runes. And to cast a spell, you have to combine different runes. So for instance, if you want to cast a fireball spell, you combine the fire rune with the wing rune. And that is a fireball. And that makes a lot of sense when you think about it because what is a fireball but a fire that has the power to fly? And, oh, it's dark. We're going to need our torch. And that really sort of, it puts spells into the realm of, like, Harry Potter, where, like, people can invent spells. Because, like, you can then think that spells sort of have a language to them. And if you know how to spell, you can write new words. Well, if you know the language of magic, you can invent new spells. So, yeah, I thought that was really cool. And... I am kind of excited. Oh, I guess, you know what? Hulk is not going to get a chance to use spells. That's okay, though. I feel like we just would have messed it up. Um, we're going to just try and fight. So here we go. This is our first battle. We're going to be fighting a mummy. And Hulk is going to swing. Um, okay, here we go. Hulk, swing. Hulk, swing. Oh, God, the mummy's attacking us. <laughs> So this is kind of like Final Fantasy-esque. Uh, 
where oh. you have to am i even hitting him like i can't even tell it does say i'm doing like three damage but i feel like i'm taking like 11 damage four damage okay we gotta kill this thing boom he disintegrated we beat him into a dusty pulp and that was that was hulk smashing hulk the barbarian hulk did not feel so good after fighting one mummy hulk could not know why what is this what does this say uh you know what i'm not gonna read it hulk no read Ooh, a dagger yes oops so when you right click you bring up your character screen you got a left click to pick things up then i can right click Let's go ahead and check out. I guess there's no way to like inspect the stats of things. Actually, okay, this is one thing that I really liked about old RPG, like real RPGs, but I feel like it's lost in the computer era. The the reliance on statistics and numbers, um, I think, kind of takes away from like true RPGing, um, if you know what I mean. Oh, that's it, things are so intuitive in this game. This is actually really great. Um, okay, so I have a food and water meter. Wow, this is like some some like don't starve level stuff. We got food, water. Okay, I guess just eating food does not heal me. So I don't know how we're going to heal. We're going to have to find a way. But um, in in like if you've ever played a real RPG, like if you've ever gotten together with your friends and played like Dungeons and Dragons or something, you know, it kind of felt like every weapon or I mean, I don't know, it's different depending on how you played with your friends. But I always found like every weapon and every situation was like unique. And one thing that I always liked about um, playing Dungeons and Dragons is that we always kind of threw ourselves into like really random worlds that, you know, didn't really have a lot of like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They didn't have like a lot of logic to them. So you couldn't, oh wait, there's a keyhole right there. Let's totally use this key. I'm, I'm being stupid. Okay, we want this and we want that. Oh yeah, we solved our first puzzle. Oh, we walked into the wall and took two damage. <laughs> but yeah, so like every world felt totally new, totally unique. Random stuff was happening. There'd just be random monsters. Like there wasn't lots of like history or reasons for things being the way they were. And I know like a lot of people love getting into the lore and stuff of certain games. And that's okay, that's fine. But there is something to be said for just like a totally random adventure. And where like weapons... You know, like these days in a video game, if you start playing a game, you might go like Google and look up like what is the best, uh, you know, weapon, the best sword, what's the best item I should be getting and like how many, you know, how many hit points of damage does the boss have and, and this and that. And one thing that was kind of nice about these old RPGs is that you could play them in such a way that like you just let the dungeon master roll stuff and you never had any real idea how much damage the boss, you know, had left or something. And like, you know, you could ask the dungeon master, does the boss look like he's dead yet? And he would say, oh, he doesn't look like he's doing so good. And that was kind of cool. It was kind of cool not to know what the health bar level of your enemies and stuff was. I find that in modern games, they tend to like um, overuse things like a health bar. And like there's there's something to be said for sort of not having precise answers. And that's what I liked about really, really old RPGing if you did it with friends. I mean, everyone RPG a little differently. So maybe you your experience is a little different than mine. But I said that was one thing I really loved about Halo is that one thing that was cool about Halo is you didn't have health bars above enemies. And like for elites and stuff, you just had to kind of guess if you were doing enough damage and they were going to die soon. You know, like with Destiny, the game that Bungie went on to make after Halo, I feel like they kind of cheaped out and put, uh, you know, the like health bars above enemies. So now you know precisely, oh, he's down to 10 percent health. I didn't like that as much. I liked when there's a little bit of ambiguity in my game. And so do you have to eyeball an enemy and be like, he's not doing so good. Uh, he probably is going to die soon. And yeah, you know, like you, you pick up a sword in a game and you don't know it does eight points of damage with a 2.6 second recharge rate. It's just sort of like it's a sword. It seems to be more effective than your hand axe, but it's a little faster than the battle axe. And it seems to do, you know, like it's just like, I don't know, like in real life, you don't know how much damage real weapons do. So it's kind of interesting to sort of be put back in that. And RPGs, like RPGs where you could talk to your friend. Okay, that key does not work there. Uh, who is a dungeon master and ask him to do things. That is exactly how things would go. You just say, okay, I swing at the zombie. And he'd be like, okay, the zombie stumbles back. You hit him. Um, you He could tell you how much damage it did. But like he didn't always necessarily know how much hit points zombies had. So it's just sort of like it is what it is. And anyway, long story short... Um, having a bit of ambiguity in games can be kind of fun. I wish more games would do it. 
uh, is all I'm saying. It doesn't have to be every game, but if some games did it, I would I would be happy with that. Anyway, we're wandering around this dungeon here while I blather on about RPGs. I think we're lost. We found one mummy, and now we can't find a use for this key. And there's there's several locked doors that we've encountered, but this is a pretty scarce, scarcely guarded dungeon so far. All these dungeons in these games are always arranged, arranged as just like these complicated mazes. You gotta figure, like, it's good for keeping heroes out, I suppose, but it's bad if... Oh, I just walked into the wall and took two damage. It's bad if you live in this dungeon, because, like, how are you supposed to get anywhere? Just be super confusing. Um, this is the point where it'd be good if we had a map. Oh, is this where we can, like, combine runes? Hold on, can we, can we do this? What are these? Hulk has these options, and I don't know what they do. It's like a chicken wishbone, a right-angle triangle, a square... No idea what any of that stuff does. Let's just poke around here. I think I'm going back the way I came. Yes. Okay, so I came down the stairs. Did I try this keyhole? I don't know if I tried this keyhole. Let's try it. Oh, there we go. Something has happened. We have opened a door. Oh, no, and there's another keyhole. Do we still have a key? No. Okay, we got we to gotta go find one. Okay, we have one, one, key, one key down. Gotta find the next one. Here's something. Can we take a little nap? Just a little, let's just sleep in the middle of the floor here. And okay, I guess this is healing us. So if you're you're suffering from wounds, if you got if, if there's things that are hurting you in life, just take a little nap. Sleep for long periods of time. We should be pretty safe here. I don't think there are any enemies. So let's sleep it out. <laughs> Oh, man. This game, by the way, inspired a lot of clones because of all its unique features, the sort of real-time elements to it, the, um, you know, what were the other elements? The, the like, skill-based leveling and all that stuff. Uh, one of the clones, Eye of the Beholder, is something I'm going to be playing next Monday. Um, and I kind of picked that game out randomly before I had started to read up on this game, and I thought it was kind of cool how Eye of the Beholder was one of the competitors that came out of Dungeon Master. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested in this RPG playthrough. Okay, we're mostly healed. Oh, no, I think our torch burned out. Or it's nighttime in the dungeon. Maybe it's just midnight. All the All the monsters are now sleeping. It's just us hanging around skulking around it's like when you wake up at like a friend's house at night and you're trying to like get some milk or something but you're trying not to wake anybody up because like you know you're not supposed to be there all the monsters are like sleeping you know what can i pull are these like levers can i pull these what are these can, can i attack it swing <laughs> nothing nothing but air all right i don't know what the hell these things are um, oh, maybe they're like areas to hold torches. Oh, so if you like put a torch in there, something will happen. I got gotcha. you. Oh, we just walked into the door. I wish they wouldn't let you walk into the wall because that's kind of stupid. Like, like no character would intentionally want to walk into a door. So like, come on. You know that I didn't mean to walk into the door. You're just being stupid about it. Okay, we're going to go over here. See, there's, there's switches there. See how there's like a little box in front of me, a little square over here. If I step on that one, it closes the door. So I kind of had to walk around it. I'm clever, guys. I'm clever like that. And we come over here. And... Damn it. Why is this locked too? How? How? Hulk? Hulk confused. How Hulk get past this part? All right, here's something that I totally skipped past. You can totally take multiple characters. So let's go ahead and take Lin Flass here. So we have Hulk, Linflas, and who else will who will be the third or fourth member of our merry tribe here? Oh, we got a little old man, <laughs> Gando Thurfoot. Gando, welcome to the club, buddy. Who else we got going on here? Um, I'm sure that we can find at least one more uh, misfit to join our little uh, our little club here. Oh, yes, let's take um, Sonya Sonya She Devil. Sonya She-Devil, cursed Sonya She-Devil, the most evil of all the wenches, has joined our club, our little adventure. Sonya, I don't know how you earn a nickname She-Devil. Maybe it's deserved, maybe it isn't. I like how there's just random uh, chains here. It's like, what do you use this for? You lock somebody up at like the front, like it's not even like a room, it's just like in the hall. It's like, this is, you know, 
We we really wanted a greeter for this dungeon, but he kept fleeing, so we had to chain up our slaves as greeters. So it's kind of like having a Walmart greeter who really doesn't want to be there. So you chain him up and really kind of force him to do his dues. Now, is this something we can grab? Okay, so I, I realized I had to backtrack to, backtrack to grab uh, these people here. And there's like stuff all over the walls. I have no idea what any of this stuff is. But... I did have to look up. We were missing one key, and now we're we're stumbling around the darkness still. But we are gonna find this key, guys. Alrighty, guys. I just had to actually reset the game there for a second. So the torch that my my group had went out, and I spent about 20 minutes trying to figure out how to cast a light spell or relight the torch. I was looking up online walkthroughs and tutorials. I could not figure it out. So for all intents and purposes, that first party is just lost in the dungeons. They, they're wandering around the darkness. Sonya, the she-devil, has given them all hell for not planning properly, and they basically are going to wither away and die. So now we have a new team. A new team, and I have a, I've included a wizard, Elijah, so that if we get into trouble, we can cast light. We can actually get somewhere in this game. But this new team consists of Zed Duke of Banville, or Banville. He's armed with a club. Uh, you think a duke would come with more, but he just showed up with a club. Then we got good old Elijah here. Elijah, Lion of uh, Utopia. And I picked him because he is a wizard and he's going to cast awesome wizard stuff. We then have Alexander, a very sneaky looking rogue thief. And we have Daru, our Wookiee, our Chewbacca, if you will. He looks, although he looks a little terrified, his, his mouth is just hanging open like, ah, maybe he's like a zombie Chewbacca or something. Which should actually be terrifying. Okay, let's go in and get the stuff from this mummy. Oh, the mummy's coming to us. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, attack this thing. Uh, punch. What's a war cry? I don't even know. <laughs> Swing! <laughs> Kill it! Oh, he's attacking Elijah, you dick! Kill him! He's really going for Elijah. Elijah, defend yourself. Use your apple. Oh, no! He killed Elijah! He killed the wizard! I had armed the... If you're paying attention, the wizard's only weapon was an apple. Did not prove to be effective. Um, we are, we are going down hardcore to a mummy. So my, my second group here... Uh, you know, Hulk bit, beat that guy all by himself. Um, Elijah's bones. Let's bring Elijah's bones with us. Um, oh, God, look at all this stuff. Who wants to loot Elijah's properties? We, we found lots of breads and cheeses. If you look at these guys, we have breads and cheeses and fresh apples. I don't know who's stocking the dungeon with all this stuff. But uh, we have a magical box that used to belong to Elijah. The rogue will take it. It's his now. And uh, his robe will take his clothes, too. Out of curiosity, I wonder if you can go ahead and put Elijah's stuff into that, like, altar. And if it will do anything, bring him back. I don't know. We're not going to find out. We got we to gotta try and make some progress here, guys. So we're going to take this sweet sword. And we're going to give it to, to a uh, good old... We can pick it up. Give it to Zed Duke here. <coughs> Alex is going to take the club. Forget all the fruits and corns. We're not wasting time picking that crap up. We're, we're spending way too much time on this first part of the dungeon here. I want to at least see a little further of this game. I have a feeling we're not going to make it far. So let me just test this out really quickly. Uh, let me try casting a spell here. So I told you you used a rune system here. Oh, wait. <coughs> the wizard who was supposed to be able to cast spells is dead. Okay, well, I don't fully understand this, but these are the runes. I think it's like level one, two, three, or how strong you want the spell to be. So we'll pick weak. And then if you want light, it's this, this. Oh, we can't even pick it. There's there's three symbols we gotta input after that first one, making it four symbols in total, if if anyone's counting. And then this is the last one. If he builds up his stamina, we can have him try it. But I do not have high hopes for this spell. I could not get it to work. I do not fully understand this rune system. But uh, it is what it is. All right, let's 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 just go ahead, and I feel like my party is just on the way out. They are probably going to die down here, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm using the keyboard, as you can see, to kind of control. It makes you move a hell of a lot faster, which is actually very nice. And Okay, so we need to go down this way. Oh, pff, everybody walked into the wall. Um, okay, here's our key. 
This is the topaz key. So that opens one of the gates. We're going to hold on to it. And if we go over here, there is a lever. There's a lever that I was missing. This thing, it looked like a coat hanger. No, it is a lever and it opens up that gate. So that's what I couldn't figure out before. And that was jamming up the whole works. I wonder if we'll run into the first party down here. That'd be pretty funny. Just find them like alone in the dark. Like, help us. We've done been down here for weeks. We're trapped down here. Meanwhile, I'm like one party member short and another is like bleeding out. I am not the person to save anyone. Ooh, we found boots. Leather boots. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh, wait. What's Hosen? Hosen or leather leather boots? Okay, I feel like he's armored up, so he doesn't need them. He's got stuff. Wait, does Chewy? Chewy needs boots. We now have a Wookiee a Wookie in boots, folks. We should really arm this Wookiee, in fact. So let's go ahead and take the club and give it to him. And does this guy have nothing? Like, what is this? Oh, he has lockpicks. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe we can get him to, like, pick some locks for us so that we don't have to waste time or keys trying to open them. Yeah, that's interesting. Now, my torch is running out. So when this torch dies, uh, this group is going to be lost to the dungeons as well. Surely there is a way to, uh, you know, re like regenerate your torches or relight them. I have no idea how. I could not figure it out. As intuitive as this game is for a lot of things, I feel like uh, it does have some some old game uh, clumsiness to it, which is is not not to say it was unusual for old games to be sort of difficult and sometimes hard to figure stuff out. But uh, yeah, as soon as darkness hit, uh, the reason it was getting darker down here was that uh, my torch was slowly going out, and I have no idea how to relight that thing. So, um, oh, here we go. We found uh, we found robes. This would have been nice for the wet the the wizard, uh, Elvin. Dibble. Let's dress up our Wookie. We can, we might not accomplish much in this game, but we're gonna have one well dressed Wookie. We're gonna give uh, we'll give a knife to Alex. Sure. And what do we got here? Uh, a single arrow. Our Wookiee will be armed with a club and an arrow. He's not the kind of Wookiee you want to just be bumping into. Oh, and a torch. Look at that. A torch. The other group could have used that, but it's not lit. It's not lit. How do we... What's this say? Strength, dexterity. He's an apprentice fighter. Oh, he's a wizard. He's a wizard. Let's go back to him for a second here. Daru. No, he, he can't do it for some reason. I don't know. I don't understand why some people can, some people can't. Okay, we have all the, the spell components lined up for Alex. Let's see if he can do it. Boom, Alex needs more... Pfft. Well, well what, a, what a letdown there. We're going to let the Wookiee carry the key. If, if trouble happens, maybe he can, like, jam it up some in some guy's nose or something. I don't know. That, that would be an awkward attack. You try and attack someone, and they, like, jam a key up your nose. And so that's how Daru play. And then he, he would kill you and then go, do his little, like, Wookiee Chewbacca scream. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> you know what's funny is uh, I looked up a walkthrough to figure out how to get further in this game, and it told me about you know, getting over here, but then it, I didn't read any further to see what I would have to do next. I assumed that would get me pretty far. I guess we have to go to, back to one of these other doors that's locked, so let's go ahead and give this one a try. Let's go ahead and try the lock pick. Let's see if Alex is good for anything. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. What's happening? You suck, Alex. Seriously? Can't do... Ugh. Alex, you're just... You're an embarrassment. All right, let's, I, I assume it's a, one of these keys will do it. Nope. Okay. Back in the sack. So I don't know how to open this door. Um, let's, let's find that one last door and see if we can open that one. I mean, if we can't, we might be at the, we might be at the end of our little let's play here. We only got to kill like one monster. I was hoping to see like at least a couple more. But uh, they, it's, it's, this is more of like an exploration puzzle game almost than like a fighting game. Although I imagine, like, with the real-time fighting, there could have been some really cool combat going on. Here we go. All right. I, I presume I will find some monsters. Some monsters that have uh, heroes on the brain and slaughtering on the brain, too. Man, another sword. Now they're, like, just arming us up like crazy. Okay, how about he dual wields a sword and a dagger? So if you come up close, he dags you, and if you fight him from far away, he swords you. Okay, well, we got boots. To hell with it. Alex, you're getting an upgrade, buddy. Your suede boots. I mean, he gave up suede for leather. 
Which is more expensive? I have no idea. And what is this? It looks like a little key. A solid key. As opposed to all those like weak keys we've been finding. Okay. And nothing else in here. I, I presume the solid key opens up that door uh, a while back that we found. Like, okay, we have to go out there for that. But is there anything else in here? Man, it's like, where are all the monsters, man? I thought we would be encountering monsters left, right, and center in this game. But it's so far, I, again, a very sparse dungeon here. Oh, what is this thing? This is something. This is, what is this? I An iron key. All right. Well, we found another key. We're just loading up on keys. The key to this game is keys. And what is this? Trousers. Well, oh, I guess our Wookiee's been walking around with a shirt and boots and no pants. He's been Donald ducking it. His uh, sort of Chewbacca was just hanging out. We're going to go ahead and put some pants on him, though. Because uh, you don't want to be running into combat with uh, a loose Chewbacca. You want to you want some pants on if you're going to be fighting monsters. Although, would you want to would you want to wear random pants that you find like in in the a deep, dark, dank dungeon? Doesn't seem like a good idea if you ask me. Okay, I am hoping one of the keys we found will open this door, and furthermore, that this door will reveal a world of monsters. That key does nothing. Um, is it this key? One of these keys has to do something. There we go. Oh, we found another monster, finally. All right. Are we ready for this? I don't know. Zed may die, but he's going to go down swinging. Hold on, Daru. Daru, buddy. Your club is what you want to be using. All right. Oh, and uh, Zed. I guess everyone's right-handed. The thing in their left hand is just for show. Oh, our torch is going out. We only have so much time for this. Let's play, guys. Let's... Let's kill some, what is it, what am I fighting even? It's like a tree. A tree that found its way. <laughs> Daru, man, you could have swung. You didn't have to like throw your club. Although I guess that worked. What, hey, whatever works, man. Whatever works, what is this? A screamer slice. All right. Um. Oh, you know what? One more door. We totally got a key for this, I imagine. All right. Boom. I wonder if we're going to encounter one more enemy. See, our torch is going out, and we tried to cast a spell to cast light. We failed. We were not a good enough wizard. Our only wizard, he was targeted, man. That was like, that wasn't just the mummy, like, taking his pick at whoever he wanted. They legitimately targeted that wizard on us. Um, all right, what do we got going on in here? Seems pretty quiet in this dungeon. Too quiet, in fact. I've encountered one mummy and one tree, and oh, here's another tree. We're gonna we're gonna take that to town. Boom, boom, bash. What can't reach? Okay, let's get closer. Oh no, we can't get closer. Swing, swing. Oh, 45 damage. Wow, it was like eight, six, two, 45. All right, now our party is really getting the hang of things. Something going on over here. So we're finally getting to sort of a, a more action-y part of the game. We could, like, fill up our water if we wanted. Let's go ahead and eat some cheese. Let's fill up our hunger. Gulp. Okay, what's what's uh, Zed got going on here? Zed is going to... I wonder if he could, like, eat the bones of Elijah. See if he'll do it. Elite, eat Elijah bones. <laughs> when Elijah died, he became Elijah bones. Okay. See what's going on here. They're all going to pass around the water, have a good, good old sip. Man, the Wookiee is not getting thirsty or hungry. He's just like, he's just totally content. He's content doing his, doing what he's doing. He's like, yeah, I don't need to eat. I don't need to sleep. All I need to do is kill. You guys made me put on pants. It's really chafing my style, but whatever. It's pretty convenient this dungeon has like random pools of water just coming out of the wall. Um, so let's take the gold key. Going to give it to our trusted Wookiee. He's really the MVP. I don't think he's attacked anything besides throwing a club. I don't think he understands the purpose of a club, but, like, who's going to correct a Wookiee? Who's, who, who wants to be the one to have the conversation with him? Like, dude, you're supposed to swing that thing. Or probably tear your arms off just for wasting his time. He's like, I'm not supposed to do anything but kill, and if you weren't paying attention, I killed that thing, so shut up. Only Wookiees don't use normal language, so it would just be a series of growls that told you all that information. Interesting. We find ourselves in a puzzle room, guys. Ah, crap. 
Well, when you're in a puzzle room, just try random things until you kind of get out. I think this is not going to do it. God damn it. Okay, they're all open right now. Okay, this closes the near one. This opens that one. That one. Oh, well, that's that's the worst. We got to the end and they're both closed. Close. Open. Open. Yes! The power of randomness. I saw that seemingly using brains, but in actuality using the power of luck. The power of... You know what? If you can't be good, you might as well be lucky. Oh, here we go. We're fighting two trees. Let's scan the room. Make sure it's just us. All right. Mano a mano. Let's do this. Oh, God. There's like... How many of them? There's like four of them. Okay, this might be how we die, guys. He is gonna, he's gonna throw that. Oh, and he killed one. He's gonna swing, a swing, a swing. I should really pass the sword onto the Wookie. Oh God. Oh man. Uh, Zed, Zed is done for, man. Oh, I could have chopped there. We're gonna, we're totally going for a chop. He ah. Uh! I can't tell like who I'm aimed at or anything. I'm just, I'm just swinging, swinging and hoping I live. Oh God, Zed is on death's door. One more attack and Zed is done. Zed is dead. He had the torch. We are, we are living in a world of darkness now. Okay, Wookie is gonna punch. Okay, so the Wookie and Alex are going to make it out of this fight, I believe. But it's you know they're gonna be living in a world of darkness. They're just going to be huddling with each other, crying each other to sleep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we got him. We got him. But as you can see, I it's, it's not looking good for us. Oh, we found a key at least. At least I can see that in the darkness. All right. Dawu. You know, if this is this let's play went on any longer, it would end up in just like a lone Wookiee wandering around the darkness, crying out for any friend he could find. God, we're just going to leave the bones. We don't have time to pick all that crap up. There's a door over here. Let's see. Where are we going? We're just wandering in the darkness, guys. We're like Now we're like the monsters roaming in the, the darkness. Oh, here we go. Oh, this this might be it. This might be the, the ending that we're going to get. Well, you know what? Whether or not we beat these things, I feel like we've reached a point where I have no idea how to get the lights back on. And we've we've seen what this game has to offer. We've we've done our duty of playing this game and getting the first impression of it. So let's talk a little bit about this game. Um, Dungeon Master. This was a game in the book, 1001 Games. You must play before you die. So let's talk about that. Is that a game? You sh is this a game you should play before you die? Well, um, definitely, it has some things I really like about it. it you know, skills in are enhanced by using your skills. Um, you know, they're, they're, the spell system's kind of cool, if not cryptic, because I didn't understand it too well. I mean, it's cool in theory. I think I would need a lot more time to actually figure it out. Um, it has, like, a reasonable uh, sort of exploration system. I mean, it is a little simple. I think I was hoping for a little bit more. But, like, you know, for its time, like, the inventory system and the point and clickness to it and the food and the water and, like, the combat, I would say, all in all, this game was ahead of its time. It was ahead of its time. Now, does that mean this game you must play these days? There, that's a more complicated question. I don't think the answer is that you must play this game. I think that best this game is uh, is a maybe. And I think what makes it a maybe is that despite being ahead of its time, it still has rather dated controls. Things are still a little clunky. It still takes a long time to do anything. Um, it's, you know, you can't aim at certain enemies in combat and so on. So although I definitely applaud the effort put in here and respect this game, I don't think it's necessarily a must play. But hey, that's just my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, we've reached a dead end here. What do you think? Do you agree with my assessment of Dungeon Master here? Do you think it's a game you must play or is it a game that it looks like kind of fascinating, but you wouldn't really spend the time yourself, but you're happy you watch this playthrough? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I hope regardless of what you think about my assessment of this game, you've enjoyed at least hanging out with me and watching me attempt to play it. If so, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. I will be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game, and you don't want to miss out on that. So until next time, guys, I'll just be wandering around in the dark, deep, dark dungeon, a Wookiee and a thief, just looking for a friend or a way out, crying themselves to sleep because they are now lost in the abyss of darkness.
Uh, but you guys take care of yourselves. And uh, peace. Hey, oh, sword in the wall. This, of course, is where you want to hide all your valuables just in a brick wall till someone like me comes along and robs you. <laughs>